I often get asked the question, Walt, what antenna did you enjoy building the most? And other questions like that. What's the best antenna to build? Which was your favorite antenna to build? I'm going to tell you the antenna that really brought me the most joy, the best experiment of all the antennas I've ever built. I'm going to fill you in on that. And I think it may surprise you. Stick around. As a lot of you know, I love building antennas. I've even got a book, uh, Salty Waltz Portable Antenna Sketchbook, filled with antennas that I've built here on the channel and that I like to build. Um, but there's one question I get a lot is like, what was your favorite build? And my favorite build really, I almost want to say wasn't the best DX Monster or the best, but it kind of was a good antenna. Along with that, it's about an experiment. You know, we can all look in my book or other books and are know the traditional dipoles and then fed half waves and the traditional antennas to build. Sometimes it's fun just to experiment with kind of like an off the wall item or object or whatever. I know my friend Mike Kate MRD has been using his G90 lately and he's, you know, tuning up uh, you know, every anything from gates to ladders <laughs> to uh, guardrails or whatever and having fun with it. But I like to experiment kind of more like trying to make something that's going to really resonate and, and, and work well. For instance, I've done the slinky antenna. This one's not my favorite, but I've had a lot of fun with uh, building a vertical slinky. I built that a couple times on the beach. I even built this antenna over in Poland in the backyard. I built a slinky antenna there as well. Got back, I've been to the top of a parking garage and took two slinkies and built a vertical slinky dipole. That was a lot of fun to experiment with. But that wasn't my favorite antenna, or my, I should say, of all time. The one that brought me the most joy experimenting with. That antenna came about, I for people that are newer to the channel, um, a couple years ago, for almost two years straight, when I first started the channel, I was working in Poland. As a matter of fact, you can see my uh, call sign, uh, Sugar Papa with stroke K4OGO, uh, under the CEPT agreement. Now, that agreement only gives you a, a few days, and then you got you can you have to stop. I was fortunate. I was working an engineering job in the north of Poland, and um, I was going over for two months, coming back for two months. So I was flip flopping every two months. Me and another engineer would just swap places. So I'd be there for two months and then be back in the States. So every time I came back and then went back over, it reset my uh, my new, you know, being able to use the agreement to operate as an American in Poland. All right, long way to enough of that. I had a big backyard. I mean, a huge backyard there. And uh, and the owner of the house was super cool. He was really into, he was interested in what I was doing uh, as a ham radio operator. Each week I would build a different antenna and I would feature it on the channel. The one antenna, it was, I was getting near the end of one of my trips. It was the end of a two-month long trip there. And I, when I went over, I would always have ideas what I was going to do. I'd take some balloons or ununs. I'd buy some wire there and, and build them. And I had poles over the amount of, over a couple of years, stuff that I had just dropped and left off there. Well, I'm, I'm getting towards the end of a, one of the trips, a two-month ventures. And I'm like, man, I've built everything. I don't know what I want to build now. And it's like a Friday afternoon. And I'm looking around the uh, the office there where we were at. And I and all the engineers, we all had our tape measures sitting on our on the desk. And I looked around, I was like, I got an idea. So I I got a bag and I got mine and uh, five others. These are friends. I knew they would understand. So I, I I gathered up six tape measures, and uh, with these six tape measures, I built a vertical quarter wave for the 20 meter band. And um, this was a, like I said, we were coming. I think this was uh, around the month of. June, so it would have been two Junes ago. It would have been like 2023. Um, and uh, so I, I, I had a pole there. What I did was I measured off the tape uh, it, it, for the vertical uh, to like 16 and foot five, a quarter way for the 20 meter band where I wanted to use it and taped it to this pole. Now, in order to do this, I took a uh, a, I had some fittings, a BNC fitting, and I took speaker wire and I fit it. I put it in the fitting and taped it off. So just the center and with an alligator clip, so I could clip it on the tape on the uh, tape measure where I wanted. And I also scraped a little bit of the paint off so I could get a very good contact. With that as well, I took the tape measures with speaker wire that I had there, and I put. I made some leads. I put some leads on the end of the tape measures. 
and then put them all together. So I'm going to, this is it. I'll show you uh, the, as I do in my other videos, the, in the intro of the setup. Here it is. Okay, here it is completely built. One of the cool things about the, a 16 foot or a five meter tape measure is it stretches out that extra five inches. Not that I was going to be, you know, resident on the uh, counterpoise, but uh, yeah, there it is. So you can see, man, here's my handiwork. It's ugly, it's not pretty. I got the clip, I scraped off the back so we can make contact with the tape measure for the, uh, the radiating element there, the, uh, the uh, going up. Uh, there's the uh, nice little ball and choke that I got from Tim, uh, N9 SAB. And then there is everything but together. You notice I taped all of these together. So what I did, there are all my radials coming out. Five of them and pretty much a star. This is the one lone wolf that's a little bit longer than 16 feet. This one's about 25 feet. I have that one pointed. That is at 70 degrees here where I'm at. So um, see how that works. Uh, anyway, there it is. There's the old uh, broken up sand surf rod holder that I left here last winter. And up in the sky, all the way up, 16 feet, 5 inches. There is the tape measure vertical antenna with tape measure counterpoise as a ground plane. How cool is that? This is going to be a lot of fun. I'll go inside here in a second and uh, we'll test the SWR. Hopefully we can make some contacts. Like I said, I'm just having some fun with this. Ran out of uh, Ran out of wire, ran out of stuff to do, didn't have all the right connections and everything else. So, you know what? It's part of the spirit of amateur radio is experimenting. Now, this is an experiment. Let's go see how it works. So, after that, I went upstairs. I had, uh, I think I had 50 foot of coax running up to the room. I had my G90. And, uh, and with the G90, they're the internal, uh, you know, analyzation tools. I checked the SWR. Here you go. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know if we'll call that luck or uh, great design, but I'm happy with it. We're, this is perfect. Let's, uh, let's go see if we can make some contacts. Well, I was shocked. That was pretty cool. After that, I made a ton, I mean a ton of, uh, of just absolutely, I was blown away how well this thing performed. Um, I even made a long path uh, contact from there to Australia and my friend Corey uh, VK4KA. Uh, it was kind of a, it was a rough contact, but I made it. But the common contacts across Europe, uh, like they were, I was getting like amazing signal reports. Um, uh, G3 MGW was like one, I think this might've been one of the first contacts I made. And uh, he was just blown away. Now this is about uh, like from where I was at in Poland, to uh, where he was at in, in England. It's about 1,100 kilometers, uh, but this was kind of a typical across Europe contact. Roger, Roger, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I've got a real elaborate system here. I've got 20 watts and I have a five meter long tape measure taped to a pole. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, young man. That's not, that's a, that's a five nine plus signal, sir. Tell me what antenna you're really on. Really am. I, uh, I have a five meter long uh, tape measure uh, taped to a pole. I have five more tape measures, all five meters long each on the ground, uh, sp spread out like a star as the ground plane here. Just was uh, experimenting and playing around. I didn't have enough wire to make a, a vertical with. I said, you know what, let's try these metal tape measures and they obviously work pretty well. There you go. So that was uh, that was my favorite all time favorite experiment. I have a video on that. I'll put it below. Uh, I, I for a lot of people probably haven't seen that because you know back then I had nowhere near the subscribers I have now. So it was a that was a lot of fun, and I I like to encourage you to get out and do maybe build that antenna or do stuff. Kind of don't always don't just follow the book. 
experiment and do stuff and have fun with it. That's what this hobby is all about and what I like to do. If you want to build some fun, I've got Slinky Antenna in here and some other stuff. Um, here's my book, uh, Salty Waltz Portable Antenna Book from the American Radio Relay League. I'll put a link to that below. And I'll also put a link to the original tape measure video that uh, you can watch that in its entirety if you like. But that's it. I wanted to, I get that question all the time, and there's the answer. I I, I go back and, and rewatch that video sometimes just because I, I it was such a, a, a joy, and I had so much fun doing that and was so blown away at how well it worked. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, uh, you can go back and watch the original, but that's it in a nutshell, what I did. And that one was definitely my all-time most enjoyable build and antenna experimenting. Hey, if you're into antenna experimenting, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel because that's pretty much 90% uh, of what I do here. I do occasionally try some products out if they're sent to me or if I think I'd like to use them and, and things like that. So if that's you, like I said, please subscribe. Till next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.